Don't you hate it when people use motion graphics to make things look cooler than they actually are? Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and we're in Vegas Pro 17, and we're going to be talking about text. So I get tons and tons of questions about how to highlight certain words, about how to move text around, and people are having an issue, and their issue is when they add text, and this, this isn't a basics tutorial. I have a tutorial all about the basics, about how you can resize it, move it around, about how you can change the font, all that jazz. But if you are trying to make something change where you want like they want the words to pop up differently or whatever they're trying to use these animation tools to do that and so I see people I see people in forums they're like how do I highlight a word and so they try to highlight this and they try to make a change to color but it changes all the color and they're like how can I change one word if I'm just going to change all the colors you're thinking about it wrong what you need to do is just turn on these grids so you can line it up. You can hit highlight your text, hit control, and move it out. That copies it. And then you hit create new copy of source media. Now you have it twice. Now on this one, delete the sample. And on this one, delete the text. And then you can line them up here and move them around where you need them to go. And you can kind of quickly see how this is going to give you a lot more power. You can toggle which one you're selecting by grabbing the different clips right there, the different, different pieces, and you can make sure they line up with, using this grid system. And then now we have it looks like one line of text but we have complete control over the individual words and you can do this down to the letter and so two things I want to highlight the most because people ask me this specifically is now you can hit this keyframe button and you can change the color over time so I want this one to turn red and if you add you can add more than one keyframe you can copy keyframes create new keyframes with this button right here right click and paste keyframes tighten them up make the make the changes more sudden or whatever you can do all that right there in your text editor but now your question is how do I affect with my animations and things how do I only affect one word it's simple just make it a whole new text box and so that's gonna fix the majority of the questions I see about text right there but uh, something else I want to highlight too is uh, text is something that is neat because you, you can also you can have you have all your animation options here everywhere you see a clock you have an animation your line spacing your shadow your outline you can animate all these things but if you want your animation to do something like a little more subtle you might want to use this event pan crop animation so this is an animation that you have on everything see this event pan crop button I have this on my video too and the way that works the way animations work a keyframe what we were talking about is when you can kind of zoom in or zoom out and it'll slowly change this is the original right it fills up the whole frame and this is the end it zooms in so now if we watch the video I slowly zoom in right you get that kind of buzzfeedy look where the images all slowly move constantly keeping your eye dancing around the screen there so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna apply this concept to the actual words themselves so let's say I wanted to make a change where I wanted the word text to rock back and forth well when I hit the event pen crop button you see the only text is up there that means that's the only thing I'm affecting so boom there I have text rotating down and then you can rotate it again and rotate it again you know it's just keyframes right and so now this differently than the sample which changes color the text moves around and so here's one last powerful tip I want to leave you with so 
if you're going to do this, don't do it the hard way. Do it the easy way. Okay, so if, let's say, I want it to start tilted like that. Let's say I want it to tilt for just a few frames. So I want it to kind of stutter back and forth. When I have it adjusted to the length I want it to be in that one position, then I'm going to hit Control again, copy it, move it next to it, and hit Create Copy of the New Source Media. And then right there, I can hit Vent Pan Crop on this one, and then just changing this one keyframe, I'm not having to make a whole bunch of different ones, you can make it rock up there. And so now when you watch it, see it's got that rocking effect. And you can copy and paste this really, really easily. So if you hit Control, while, hold Control again while you're selecting, you can actually select both of these at once. And if these are both selected, you can right click and hit Copy. And now this is the really, really cool thing. Click right here, right at the end. Hit Control B. That's B like beta, like bow wow. B, Control B, and it. It'll ask you to create a new copy, and you say OK, and then it says how many. And you can pick anything you want, 10, 20, 30, 50, and you can even put space in between them, or you can say end to end. For me, I need to say end to end, and I'm going to say like 20, and there's a whole bunch right there. And heck, I'll say 10 more. Can, let, me, let me select right here and hit Control B again because I didn't have enough. 10 more. OK, boom, there we go. Now let's watch. See? text is jumping back and forth infinitely. So that is the answer to everybody's text problems, is you're just not segmenting it enough. You're just not dividing it up enough. You're making the unit, you're acting like if you have one line of text, you or a whole paragraph of text, it all has to be in one text box. You can have as many text boxes as you want. Go crazy. And the more text boxes you have, the more control you have, the more things you can do. So this is Adam. Uh, pfft. I'm Adam, this is the Tech Dive, so please like if this video helped you out, subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Oh, and if you're new to editing, please check out my new to editing tutorials on YouTube, which are free, and also my new to editing Udemy courses where I teach about, where I give follow along projects and teach about editing theory as well. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.